Hi, it's Dwyer, October 9th, 2024, gamblersadvisory.com, also bettingangle.us. This is a premium video for subscribers who understand no risk it, no biscuit. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Folks, the first fight was too close for comfort. It was a draw between Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark. Clark clearly is the better boxer. Clark has a back foot, which Wardley really doesn't have. Right? Wardley is clearly the better puncher. Wardley, who has a knockout ratio north of 90%, is someone you need to look at in this heavyweight division. Right? He's always only one punch away from turning a fight around. Also understand, Wardley has a condition with his nose. He has scar tissue where he'll get hit in the nose and the nose will start bleeding. It's a bad visual. Blood streaming out of his nose is not going to affect his vision. But understand, it highlights the ability of an opponent to land on him as Wardley is not defensively blessed. In rematches like this, between a puncher and a boxer, I believe the puncher comes into the fight knowing that they need a stoppage, that they don't have the boxing skills to hang with the boxer. Now, what we want to do here at least in my opinion, is to find a bet, find a mispricing in this 12-round fight. It is a fight for a European title, right? In this 12-round fight, we want to find a prop that's mispriced. Then we want to find an alternative hedge that we feel will hold if our mispriced prop does not deliver. Let's find both right here. The real goal of this bet is to take Fabio Wardley under six and a half rounds. You heard right. The under six and a half rounds at a plus 210. Right now I say we're taking Fabio Wardley. What we're really doing is taking the under six and a half rounds. If Fraser Clark gets a stoppage before the midway point of the seventh, you cash on this as well. But realistically, between you and me, the only person capable of getting a stoppage during the first six and a half rounds is Fabio Wardley. What we're really doing is betting on the A case for Wardley. If Wardley is serious here, when he's 100%, he needs to come across the ring and he needs to start chopping down the big tree from the opening bell. If he lands enough big shots, he should do so by the midway point of the seventh round. Let's remember, he knocks down Fraser Clark in that first fight. If he doesn't, I believe Fraser Clark wins a decision. The hedge here is that the fight goes the distance. You're getting that at a plus 115. That to me is a much better hedge than Fraser Clark simply to win, where you'd be getting a plus 110. Right? I believe a boxer like Fraser Clark is going to realize, in fact, realizes it now after the first fight, that Fabio Wardley can't box with him. So I believe if Fraser Clark makes it out of the first half of the fight, he's going to be in cruise control. There's going to be no need to push the issue to get the stoppage. He's going to know, in fact, a decent case can be made, that he won the first fight. So he's going to know that he can pull away from Wardley who's a heavy puncher with both hands in the second half of the fight. 
So the bets I like are the under six and a half rounds, and you want to look for a sports book such as Bovada.lv that gives you your choice of over-under round that has several over-unders. We want to be a little bit early here, right? The six and a half gives you the plus two ten, which I like. That gives me enough in possible winnings to then bet a little bit extra on the fight going the distance, right? Understand, once it goes the distance, it doesn't matter who wins it. You will have cashed at a plus 115. Right? So if Wardley doesn't get the stoppage, but is able to land enough big shots to win a decision, you're good. But I need for folks to understand the risk involved. If Wardley plays it safe and doesn't start to assert himself until the second half of the fight and ends up with a stoppage after the midway point of the seventh round, you lose it all. So the hedge, under six and a half rounds, plus 210. Right? I think only Wardley has a chance to win. This is the way to structure the bet where you get handsomely rewarded if the favorite gets a stoppage in the first half of the fight and half of the seventh. Right? First six rounds and half of the seventh. Hedged with, the fight goes the distance at a plus 115. That's how I'm playing it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.